Hello and welcome to Automation Expo 2022. I am Neha Basutkar Ghatte from Automation and Digitization Magazine. We have here with us Chetan from Mur Electronic. What are the products that has been exhibited in this exhibition? Uh, uh, basically, as I said, uh, this is uh, one of the pioneer automation expo expos of uh, India, and so here we are mainly looking at the digital transformation. Uh, primarily, we are looking at three variants of products. One is of course on the IIoT solutions mm -hmm. and then we are also looking at a new product called VarioX basically that is on the digital transformation platform and of course on our IP67 uh, solutions. Uh, that is what we are known for and so we are mainly focusing on all our IP67 solutions. Okay. In which all segments these products will be you know? New? Basically traditionally uh, the IP67 uh, remote IOs and uh, the power supplies have uh, been a stronghold of automotive uh, segment uh, but slowly with respect to the new age industries I think uh, this is uh, we are now targeting mainly on the internal logistics the warehouse and um, uh, the logistics industry and uh, probably the, uh, the the new automation uh, products that are uh, probably coming out from the German companies are mainly targeting the internal logistics and uh, so, so we are quite successful in that industry and uh, so we would like to actually focus on that industry for the next two, three years. For the couple of years. Yes, couple. Yes. What are the trends that uh, the automation sector has been witnessing nowadays, especially after pandemic? You know, the smart technologies or the automation, you know, or something that new has been coming up or something of that sort. So, okay, uh, I think I think pandemic has been a sort of a life changing event for all of us, both on the industrial perspective as well as on the personal perspective. And what has actually trained, uh, changed or transformed is the way we communicate. Uh, primarily on the remote communications and the, the video conferencing and other things have actually now which normally takes 10 years for the transformation has happened within one one and a half years. So in that sense, similarly in the industry on the automation, I think uh, there's also a shortage of uh, skilled manpower. And so the, the, the kind of innovation that we are now seeing is to bring out the products from the cabinet onto the field, which in, in, ensures that there's less man, manpower required for the wiring and it is completely uh, 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 maintenance free uh, sort of uh, installation that we are looking at and that is where we are focusing and I think uh, over the next 10 years this is how it is going to be with a lot of AI and robotics coming in so it will be more uh, a human interven intervention less kind of a technology that we are looking uh, uh, to spearhead into the digital future. Thank you for your valuable Absolutely, and I wish all the readers of uh, Indie Magazine and Publish, publish, uh, publish Industry all the best and uh, we, we would, of course, uh, we are a patron for your, your publication and we will continue to do so with you guys. Sure, sure. Nice. Okay? Thank Thanks. you.